Hey guys, this is Josh on Tech again, and this is the second half of the Launcher Pro review. Now this time I'm going to be going into the settings on Launcher Pro and showing you all the different settings that you can change. First off, you'll notice um, that there's a different menu down here. It changes everything. It puts preferences where uh, the notifications usually are. And it changes, it switches them around. Usual regular settings is to the uh, bottom right and then preferences for Launcher Pro are in the middle at the bottom. Okay now you have the same things as I showed you in the first video here. But now we're going to go more de in depth into each of these settings. Now if you go into general settings you can hide apps, you can show and hide um, certain apps that you want on your uh, dock. Um, here keeping memory uh, that's it's an unstable feature so far and it gives you a warning not to use it sometimes I use it the nothing really happens I don't notice anything really bad um, here's enable scrollable widgets which would be like um, your pulse um, reader widget which would be a scrollable widget and Motorola dot droid hack now I use it on my droid 2 here but um, I'm not sure exactly what it does. I just use it to be sure. Okay, then you got home screen settings, which has changed recently from the previous version. Okay, you have number of home screens. You have default screen. Um, you have enabled trackball scrolling, which of course I don't have a trackball on this phone, so it doesn't matter. Enable virtual looping. Now, virtual looping, what it does is uh, instead of actually when you're uh, swiping through um, your home screens, instead of actually going to the the last home screen on the other side it bounces you all the way back um, I will demonstrate it since uh, it's kind of hard to explain but I'll show you what it does when you're scrolling over you get to this side and then you go all the way back you'll bounce back see the bottom there there's all of them on that side and you go like this and there's all of them on that side so you see where it bounces back now I don't have that set on there because it annoys the crap out of me when I'm trying to do stuff now the newest thing on Launcher Pro is the transition effects which I showed you in my last video don't need to show you that um, you can have the number of columns in uh, your home screen a number of rows where you can change as, uh, the icons, as many icons as you want to put on there basically. And you can put auto fit items which will stretch the widgets to fit your screen if you don't have the right amount of spacing. Okay, then you got dock settings, which, um, number of docks. That is this thing down here. You can change that to whatever you want. There's a few different things you can change it to. Um, I'm not going to show you them all, but I will just tell you that that is the dock down there. Okay. Now, when you enable loop scrolling for the dock, basically, instead of just just being your apps, your app drawer, your phone, and your internet, or whatever, you can scroll and do different um, things. I'll, I'll demonstrate it just because. Now see this, how the plus plus is coming down here? Now you see that you can scroll back and forth and you can have more um, options down here. But I normally keep it off because I like to stay as stock Android as possible. And of course you have to restart every time you switch that. Now we'll go to behavior settings. Now auto rotation would be when you turn your phone sideways the whole screen will rotate. Now I don't have that set because this is the Droid 2 and it has a keyboard so it'll auto rotate when you uh, open the keyboard out. Um, you can do your home screen action which can do a mul multiple things. 
can have it set to open and close screen previews, which are the like HTC Sense previews. You can do open and close notification. You can do high status bar, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, home key action, which is the same thing. That's just hitting it once. Home key to default screen. Now when you hit the home, that'll take you back to your main screen that you have it set to go back to. But I don't have that set because I just go to the previews. Okay, and now we'll go into appearance settings. Now this is a whole bunch of different options and here's a lot of options. As you can see, um, you can do the dock background, which is this background. Now I have, of course, I like stock Android, so I keep it the Froyo look with just the back of that lit up, or um, just the background there, between the three there. Then you have show screen indicator. Uh, it'll show a bar at the bottom of your screen that'll show you which screen you're on, which doesn't really matter when you have the pinch to zoom. HTC Sense previews. Um, you can hide the notification bar, which isn't an advantage to me. I don't really care. You can have the home button as the app drawer, um, which I don't know. It, it's not that good. I don't really care. I usually hit the house that comes up when the uh, app drawer is open. You can hide icon labels, which is the uh, text underneath the icons, like your apps and stuff. Um, disable wallpaper scrolling, which means that this wallpaper in the background won't move at all. It'll just stay in one place, which kind of makes your scrolling a little bit smoother, but looks really weird compared to normal. And you can highlight whatever color you want the app to when you tap on it, there's, there will be a highlight color in the back ground of it. And uh, you can switch it to whatever color you want, which I thought was pretty neat. Then we get into advanced settings, which do have a lot of uh, experimental things like this memory usage settings. There's a lot of stuff you got to know what you're doing in here to make it work. Now, some people, when they first get Launcher Pro, the screen... Um, switching is a little choppy, but I figured out that if you have the right settings in here in the memory usage, you can fix that and it's smooth as smooth can be. As you saw in my other video, how smooth the scrolling was between my screens, even with the transitions. Um, okay, then you have five icons in the uh, home screen, which gives you one more row of icons, which is really nice. I have that set. It looks a little weird when you put it into landscape mode when you open the keyboard, but other than that, it doesn't really bother me. It's pretty nice. Elastic scrolling, which when you go switch between home screens, it'll bounce back a little bit when it hits the next home screen. Um, high quality scrolling. I'm not exactly sure what all that does. It kind of is stupid, so I just have it on checked because uh, it does slow down your transitions. Um, minimum scrolling speed which is you don't really have to mess with that as long as you do the right thing up here in the memory usage settings you don't have to mess with the scrolling. 3D app drawer which is pretty neat. Um, I don't have it set up yet because the new rewrite of Launcher Pro is said to be really smooth and have the 3D app drawer that, app drawer that really works. Um, you can choose how many app, uh, how many columns you have in the app drawer, how many columns, landscape and portrait. Um, opening speed of the app drawer when you hit the um, the app drawer button on the dock, it'll open it faster or slower depending on what you want. And you just have the screen previews opening speed, which when you pinch to zoom out on the screen previews, it'll go faster or slower depending on what you want. And if you want to debug your uh, phone, if you know how to do that, you can display the memory usage on your phone as uh, it goes. Then you have Launcher Pro widget settings, which basically are bookmarks, calendar, messages, Twitter, Facebook, and friends widgets. And it just basically what it does is it lets you change settings in, in them, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> 
Um, okay, then you have, of course, Restart Launcher Pro, which will restart your whole thing if something goes wrong. And then there's backup home screens and settings, which you can back them up onto your SD card. So if you ever lose Launcher Pro, you can just restore them with the next one down. And then you can reset defaults. You can reset all defaults. I don't recommend that. It takes a long time to fix it. And as you can see here, I'm on the plus version of um, 0.8.3, which soon to be, I hope, 1.0 when they do the rewrite and they release that, which should be sometime soon. Um, okay, well, that was basically Launcher Pro here. I'll show you how smooth these transitions are. I just have the normal transition on right now. And of course, the screen previews. They're pretty smooth. And switched whatever, you know, screen here. Um Okay, well that was my review. Um second half of my of my review of Launcher Pro. Um I hope you enjoyed that. Um you guys can subscribe. That would be nice and get me some followers so I can uh help these apps get seen and get noticed because they are really good apps. And I advise you to get the plus version of this because the widgets are just so nice. Like I showed you on my first video. Okay guys, well, this was Josh on Tech, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next one. Goodbye. I was blown away. What could I say? It all seemed to make sense. You're taking away everything. And I can't deal with that. I try to see the good in life. But good things in life are hard to find.